The farm. Where are the animals? This is the farmer. His name is Peter. And on this farm, he is the leader. He loves his animals. He has dozens. Rabbits, horses, and their cousins. Before, they were all inside the fence. But something happened, I've got the sense. As Peter worked in his garden today, he saw the animals running away. Maybe something scared them here. They just ran off. They should be near. Please help him find them one by one before the setting of the sun. Find Pip the pig. For eating all kinds of meat and food, Pip the pig is in the mood. And now he wants a potato to eat. If he's in the garden, he'll find a treat. Look at the sign. Touch the fruit or vegetable that has the same shape. Exactly! As you can see, Pip is not there. Want to find him? Yes, but where? If Pip has an itch, he doesn't use his finger. He backs up to a tree. So look there, don't linger. Did he find a trunk to scratch his pink skin? Let's go and bring him home again. Drag the correct color onto the white apples. Good job! Oops, we were wrong. Sorry, my dear. We thought we found him, but Pip is not here. There is so much heat inside this place. It brings a frown to every face. Has Pip gone straight down to the lake? Looking for a refreshing break? Drag each fish to their home. Correct answer! Congratulations! You found Pip! In the lake, he'll take a dip! Here he is! Pip the pig we found! He rolls in the mud and on the ground! He's funny and has a lot of fun when he spends time with everyone. His only flaw is his awful smell from never washing very well. Find Sue the cow! Sue the sweet cow has left today. I think for a meadow not far away. If she's found grass, she'll want to graze. So let's go there by separate ways. Color the flower purple. Drag the correct pair of colors. Go on. We thought we'd find her ready to chew. But here in the meadow, we don't see Sue. Sue doesn't want to stay on her own. She really dislikes spending time alone. Maybe she found her good friend Celine. Let's find them out there in the green. Drag two tea bags to the cup to make the right color of tea. Exactly! They're not together, as you can see. Celine is alone, resting peacefully. Now you know why cows don't take dares. They can't come down if they climb the stairs. Maybe on a flight of stairs she stayed. 
waiting for help if she is afraid. What shape are the apples? Touch the two correct shapes. What color are the apples? Touch the two correct colors. Exactly! Here is where we can find the cow. She wants to come down, but doesn't know how. Sue the cow answers to her name. She is so sweet and really tame. Everyone thinks that she is funny. Besides, her milk is really yummy. Her coat is spotted black and white. And she likes grazing day and night. Where is Jeff the horse? Jeff likes vegetables and fruits. Hay, grass, oats, and even roots. We need to look at the apple tree to find the place where he may be. Which of the animals is shorter? Drag the animal that can fit under the branch. Fantastic! I'm sorry, he's not in the orchard. Still, let's go on and check the hill. When the farmer's wife goes into town, she asks Jeff to bring her down. Let's check if he's taken her in the cart. Go on, my friend. You are so smart. Drag each character to the wheelbarrow that fits them best. Go on! No, I'm sorry, but the lady today asked the horse Joby to take her away. When Jeff is tired, he doesn't lie down, so he falls asleep without a frown. Let's check if Jeff, after his stampeding, got very tired and is now sleeping. Drag the items onto the horse that are the best size for him. <laughs> Correct answer! Here he is, standing up on the lawn. He's sleeping quietly and makes a big yawn. This is Jeff, a very smart horse. He's funny and very strong, of course. Over and over he combs his mane, making it elegant and nice again. If you want to know his age today, look at his teeth. That is the way. Where is Melvin the rabbit? Melvin is a rabbit, so what does he eat? It's easy to guess, he dislikes meat. He really loves carrots, quite a lot. Let's see if he's in the garden plot. Drag the vegetables to the right place in the basket. Wonderful! Melvin is not in the garden now. You must go on. I'll show you how. Melvin and his friends spend time in play. So let's see if they're together today. They are in the garden playing games and all that. If you can't find them, I'll eat my hat. Which rabbit is hiding behind the bush? Wonderful! All Melvin's friends are here. It's true. I think to find him, we need a clue. There is something you may not know. Melvin's teeth are sharp and always grow. So he often needs to gnaw something hard. Come on, if we're right, we'll get a reward. Put the tree trunk back together.
correct answer. Wow, we're right. Melvin is found, gnawing on this log on the ground. This smart little rabbit is very funny. He's gentle as well. He's Melvin the bunny. With a fluffy tail and long ears on his head, he has lots of love to give and to spread. He truly likes carrots. He really loves them. They're very precious, just like a gem. Where is Sherry the sheep? Sherry's hair is silky and soft. And when it is sunny, she's really hot. The farmer's wife, to make her cool, uses shears to shorten Sherry's wool. Drag two bundles of wool onto the sheep. One, two. Good job. The farmer's wife has gone outside with her horse Joby to take a ride. Sherry's friends just passed by here. With all their bleeding, it's easy to hear. Perhaps our sheep has joined them to play, to make some noise and have fun today. How many sheep can you see? Exactly! Sherry definitely hasn't made a peep. As you can see, these are all gray sheep. Sherry is a greedy and hungry lamb. She likes hay, lettuce, fennel, and yam. But most of all, she loves bent grass. Is she in the garden to eat a mass? How many carrots are on the table? Fantastic! Here she grazes with a bowed head. And now she's satisfied and fed. A little shy and a little fat. Her life is funny and never flat. She always wants to eat and play with all her friends. They're white and gray. Sherry the sheep with her soft woolly coat shows love to all, whether sheep or goat. Where is Claire the chicken? Claire the chicken on a hot sunny noon sits on her nest with eggs to hatch soon. Maybe in this warmth, she sits quietly in a warm field hatching peacefully. Drag nine eggs into the basket. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. No, we cannot see Claire in this sun. Let's go find her. It will be fun. Claire likes eating hay, plants, and seeds. But there is something else she needs. She'll be digging for worms now, you can bet. Let's see if Claire has found a worm yet. Put the number of worms in order. Correct answer! But there is no one pecking here. Don't give up now, she must be near. Last night, her rest was not too deep, and now she needs a little sleep. Go and check there, under the tree, for a comfortable spot that we can see. Drag five chicks into the red house, and five into the brown house. One. Two. Three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five.
Bye. Go on. Here we found Claire in the deepest slumber. You learned a lot. You've got her number. Our dear friend Claire is a hen so sweet who always likes to peck and eat. She is the first to wake every day, running between the gravel and hay. She has her chicks. She loves them all. They are so pretty and very small. That's what happened. They all ran away because there's a beehive with bees on the way. So what can I say? You are very smart. You played this game with your brain and heart. You quickly found our wandering friends. And now this is where our fine game ends.